Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review of Helen of Windhorn number three. This is a new book from Dark Horse. Uh, let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. This book, of course, written by Tom King with art by Bill Kizevely, colors by Mateos Lopez, and letters by Clem Cowell. Uh, we also have a few covers that you'll see, so stay tuned for the end of the video for that. Um, yeah, we continue to follow uh, the Windhorn family, right? We see Helen how she has gone and discovered this whole new world with her grandfather. Uh, and this one, we really dive deep into uh, what that could mean and, and how things play out. So very interesting stuff. I think uh, Tom King and Bill Kazevely are such a great team. Um, I also don't hear people talk enough about uh, Lopez's colors. I think they really bring Bill Kazevely's like, work to to its full potential, like it, it makes things look really cool. I mean, you saw that cover. Uh, so in this issue, Helen returns to the grounds of the Windhorn House and from what appears to have been a fantastical warrior paradise, what she has experienced, and is it real or is it from her mind, of her late father who penned stories of a barbaric adventurer in a bizarre land. Uh, so I think we're still playing a little bit with reality here, but I to me, it feels pretty obvious that all these things are really happening. So, uh, But I do like the kind of aspect of uh, there's a comic or a book within a book. There's art within the art. Uh, so that that's kind of really fun. And, and I would love to see how the things that are going on in the present timeline, where we had, we had this, this interview and we know a little bit more about that stuff, how that all goes back and ties into uh, the main timeline where we're following Helen and her adventures, right? Uh, so let's take a look at some of the preview art. And gosh, every every single issue kicks off with a page that just looks like a painting because they are supposed to be paintings within the world of this book. And oh my goodness, Bill Kazevely. And like I mentioned, I think Lopez's colors just really bring in this to life. Uh, but my God, this is just so cool. I would read this book as well <laughs> not just helena windhorn but the actual book within the book um and yeah we we see here that the windhorn um assets are being kind of distributed uh but then we jump back to helen's time and you know we see her come back from adventure very excited right she's learning a lot from her grandfather which i think it's a lot of fun uh i think those adventures are really cool and i think helen's changed a little bit from the person that we met in issue number one uh, who was somebody that had very little cares and just kind of was a wild, loose cannon. Uh, even though here she's still searching for a sense of adventure, um, I think it's a lot more honed in on just, like, the stuff she's doing with, with her grandfather. So, uh, and as I mentioned, just, like, every single panel in this book is absolutely just gorgeous, beautiful. You could pull this out, any. you could pull out any panel, uh, and it, it'd be amazing. So it just, yeah, I cannot believe uh, the level of detail that Evelyn is going into this book. Uh, but it just really works. It makes the book what it is. It makes the book special. Um, so, uh, yeah, highly recommend you check this out. Only three issues in. You can kind of go back and catch up if you need to. Uh, I think the trade of this is going to be really cool. Uh, but it's still going to be a little bit away. So if you want to, if you're waiting for the trade, it's still going to be probably a few months. Uh, maybe, maybe by the end of the year, we'll have something. So, uh, if you are reading this, let me know what do you think about this issue. Uh, and if you haven't, let me know why, why aren't you reading this? Is there just not enough bandwidth? That's definitely bandwidth issues with comics. Uh, definitely is a thing. So, uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. If, uh, hit the bell uh, so you know when we go live that is most Saturdays 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and stay tuned we have more comic reviews trailer reactions TV recaps all that fun stuff in the channel thanks for watching everyone bye bye